Okay, so for number four, tutorial number four, we're going to look at uh, speed and also at the effect controls. Just some really simple stuff that you can manipulate when you're making a music video to try and make it a little more spicy, a little more interesting. So what I've got here is a really simple video. This is shot in slow motion. It's shot at 240 frames a second, um, and it's playing back at 30, which means I'm getting uh, about eight times, eight seconds for every second that I actually filmed. So this is, uh, you know, ducking into a little bit of home video here. But there it is. All right, it looks pretty sweet. So I'm just going to grab that, maybe just grab it again right before truck hits, and then right about there. Grab that, throw that in there. So I already have slow motion there. Isn't that fantastic? Um, if you have not shot something in slow motion but would like to make it slow motion, there's a trade-off. It will not look as good as if you filmed it at a higher frame rate just because there's not as much visual information there for your editor to use, but you can still adjust the speed of your footage after the fact. So for example, if I want to change the speed here, I right-click on my footage, and I go to... not that. I go to Speed and Duration, Speed slash Duration, click that, and there's a couple things I can do here. One is I can just set my speed to the percentage of whatever I want it to be. So if I want it to be twice as fast, three times fast, four times as fast. So I think if I set it to 800%, that seems a bit high. Let's just try 600%. Try that and say OK. And we'll see what that looks like. Yeah, <laughs> pretty short, but I think that's about right. Let's see. Still a bit slow. No, 800% was the right number. So that would set it back to regular speed. So it's a pretty quick little moment in time, but there it is. Um, or I could slow it down even more if I wanted to, but that would get a little ridiculous. But either way, um, that's how you control the speed of your footage. If you want, you can also just click this little thing here that says reverse speed, and then it'll just play your footage backwards, which can also have kind of a neat effect. So that is one very simple thing that you can mess around with as you are editing your video and think about even ahead of time if you want to plan these sorts of things out. Um, the next set of tools that we can use is here in our effect controls. And this allows us to do all sorts of interesting things. So for one, I can change the position of my video. Now, right now, there's nothing underneath my video, right? It's just, it's emptiness, it's black. Um, but I could, for example, layer another video underneath it. That's why I have multiple video tracks. So I could put another video underneath it. Let's just do this just for fun. And you can see there the other video appears underneath it. So that's something you can do. You could also have multiple videos on the, sc on the screen at the same time. Let's say I want to move this over here, and then I can make it smaller using my scale. I'm doing this by just clicking and holding and then sliding left and right. I can also just use this little down arrow and I can slide my scale back and forth. So I can make it smaller or bigger and then I can move it. If, even if I just go like this, I can actually just grab it and move it. And then I can grab this really awesome shot here of some violence and I can scale that down and I can move that over. So I can have two videos, four videos, 10 videos, 100 videos, however many you want to put on the screen at the same time, and they all play at the same time. That's kind of mind-blowing. Um, the other thing I can do is I can rotate. So I'm going to select this video. It's outlined in white. That's why, that's how I know it's the one that I want. I'm just going to, this is getting a little messy, so I'm just going to undo what's happening here. And there we go. Okay. I can rotate my video. So I can rotate it all the way around. <coughs> Excuse me to 180 degrees, just type in a number if I want, and flip it upside down. Again, upside down video. Why not? That's interesting. You can try. I can actually scale it larger. If you shoot 4K, you can actually scale things up quite easily without losing any sort of detail. Here you can see the video is starting to get pretty chunky looking. It doesn't look very nice. So you want to avoid doing that with lower resolution video, but certainly if you're shooting 4K or, or you know even HD, you can still zoom in quite a bit and get a, a new shot if you like. Um, but these are applied to every single one of your video clips. So if I select this one over here, I'll move my playhead so I can see what I'm looking at. I can do the same thing. I can scale in. I can reframe my video. I can do something like this. 
I'm actually, this is getting tedious, so I'm just going to grab it and move it there. So I can reframe the video and actually change the subject of my shot just by changing scale and position. I can do rotation and make it seem like something's not quite right. Hmm, now we're getting kind of suspicious looking. So all sorts of things you can do with this after you've shot your original footage. Lots of options. So the challenge for this tutorial for you on the timeline is I'd like to see you show me at least two examples of some of the things that I have demonstrated here, whether that's playing something backwards, in slow motion, upside down, multiple videos playing at once. Take your pick, but show me at least two examples in this section uh, before you call this one done.